Hey everybody, Jeff from Show It Here. This video is about scroll actions. So scroll actions are a useful tool in Show It for doing a couple of things. It has two main use cases, which is to either show or hide a canvas that is set to hidden to start, like a freebie pop-up or something like that. The other is to transition canvas views, which you can use really creatively in a lot of different ways. So I'm gonna demo this for each use case so you can have a better understanding of how to use the scroll actions tool inside of Show It. First here, scroll actions should be set on a canvas other than the one that you want the action to be taken for. So for example here, I'm going to use our pop-up freebie and this is a hidden to start canvas. You'll see that here, and you can find out more about how to create a pop-up in a different article in our help center. But you'll notice if I go to scroll actions, nothing is set on this canvas. I've got this little canvas over here, which is my trigger canvas that I've set up. And I've set up this very small two pixel canvas here that blends in with the white of the canvas below it. Now I could use an existing canvas like this big hero image, but it's a window height canvas, which is going to expand to take the full height of the display size it's being viewed on. And I want something that I can control going off screen, which is my trigger. So if I go back to my trigger canvas here and then go to scroll actions, you'll see we have this action set up that when this tiny two pixel canvas is off screen, it's supposed to show canvas and that freebie pop up. I've set it to trigger once so that it doesn't trigger every time someone is on my page. So for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and change the background color to this blue here so that we can clearly see the trigger and know when it is on screen there. I'll even actually lengthen it just a little bit here so that we can see it. You'll probably wanna keep it smaller in your own setup as the point is that it wouldn't be seen. So now when I preview this here, I'll go ahead and open the full browser preview. And now as I scroll down, remember once this canvas is off screen, it's gonna trigger that pop-up for me off screen, and there we go. There's the pop-up. Now they can either fill this out or they can exit it. So that is the point of the scroll action in that particular use case. So now let's move on from this example and look at another. So here on my galleries canvas, I've set up a second canvas view that has a different color background. So for example, let's say that when my intro canvas here is off screen, I want this color to transition to draw my visitor's eye to my galleries here. So I've gone ahead and set up a scroll action. I'm gonna change it to off screen for this intro canvas. And I'm going to have the action be change canvas view. My canvas will be my galleries because that is where the action should be taking place. And the canvas view is going to be view two. Now I'm gonna go ahead and leave trigger once unchecked because I want this to happen anytime someone scrolls down. Now let's go ahead and preview this and take a look. So I'm scrolling down get rid of the pop-up. And remember, it's once this canvas here is off the screen, so we're scrolling, and now you'll see my galleries change color there. So um, there is a bit of a transition on it. You can remove those, you can edit them how you see fit. If you just want it to fade or show up instead of sliding like that, you have those options. Um, I've seen this used in a variety of different ways, sites with backgrounds that change color as you scroll through. It is a more complex setup to use that particular feature multiple times throughout the page. So just be sure that you have a good handle on how to use scroll actions. Otherwise, you might find things are changing and you're not quite sure where things are set, which can be a bit of a headache. But they are a very valuable tool, especially for triggering things like a pop-up canvas as shown here. So I hope this video has helped you better understand what scroll actions are and how you can use them in your own site. We can't wait to see what you create. Until next time, happy designing.